Thinking about the same thing over and over again can be very stressful. Believing our mind can't let go of something, going over and over and over something that's stressing us. How do we stop that? Well, I'm going to show you how to stop overthinking about something you don't want to think about at all, how to let it go. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So why do we obsess over negative thoughts? What are the six effective ways to stop thinking and going over and over something we want our mind to be free of? So first of all, make a decision. Are you ruminating here, going over and over? Or are you actually problem solving? Thinking the same thought while you're finding a solution to it is okay, but just going over and over and over is not okay. You need to proactively change the way your mind is looking at something. The fastest way to do this is to change the words you say after all the way you feel about anything is down to only two things, the pictures you put in your mind and the words you're constructing. And those words and pictures are yours to change. So when you change the words, change the pictures, it changes your entire life. Let me give you an example. Why did that person dump me? Why wasn't I good enough? Why did it go wrong? What did I do wrong? Becomes, you know what? It wasn't meant to be. I don't want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with me. They did me a favor. And switch it to, I'm glad it ended early. Imagine wasting three more years. This was the right thing. If the way you feel about anything is down to the pictures and words you are making, which it absolutely is, the good news is you are free to change the words and change the pictures at any time. I was once going to the train station to work with a very famous footman. I go, oh my God, the taxi's late, the traffic's bad, I'm going to miss the train, he's going to be so upset, this whole day is ruined. I thought, you know what? He's a footballer. They actually stop practicing at three o'clock. He's got the whole day. If I miss one train, these trains run every 20 minutes. He's a footballer. He's got the luxury of 20 minutes. As it happened, I got there on time. I got the train. But I realized I could keep thinking, oh, I've ruined everything. This is a famous person. I've messed it up. Or, well, famous people have a lot of free time. I have a phone. I'm sure he'll understand a 20-minute delay. So you get to choose. So if the words are negative, change them. If the pictures are negative, change them. And talk to someone else who might say, you know, you dodged a bullet there. They, that was never going to work out. I never liked that person. They didn't respect you. Or, you know what, it was the right thing for you to be made redundant. This was never the right job for you. You were never happy there. I think one day you look back and say this was a good thing. Having someone else give you a fresh perception on what you're seeing. My kid is driving me crazy. I can't get them out of my bed. I know, but come back in 14 years. Your three-year-old son will not be in your bed. He'll be in someone else's bed. And you have a new thing to worry about. So look at it with a different perspective. I worry about my kids. I'm worrying. And one of the things I find super helpful is to say this. You know my problem? It's someone else's fantasy dream come true. Somebody would love to have a kid in their bed, a partner that leaves their underpants on the floor, someone who leaves all the jars off the peanut butter, put, puts wet towels on the floor. They would love that. Do some mindfulness. You see, your mind is yours to direct. Your mind influences your body. And guess what? You influence your mind. I'm stressed. I'm panicked. I'm going crazy becomes I'm super chilled, I'm super chilled, I'm super chilled. Everything is good. I know it works because when I was in hospital going through tests, I saw so many people lying in the scanner going, oh, this is hell, I'm claustrophobic, I've got to have another blood sample taken, it's painful. I'd say, just practice saying I'm so chilled. You can do anything here because I am so chilled. Put lean on my arm, I won't even notice it. Go in the scanner, oh, it's 20 minutes to myself. That may sound kind of crazy, but you see what I was doing. When I had medical procedures, I changed the picture. 
I change the words. Oh, it's raining. I think, wow, that's kind of cool. I can't go out. I've got the whole day to do stuff I need to attend to. And by all means, get help when you need it. Help to look at things. And remember, when you look at things differently, the things you look at become different. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I didn't make that up, Wayne Dyer did. And he was a master in looking at things differently. And I highly recommend it. And you can maximize, powerfully maximize the benefits of what you've just learned. And you can use my hypnosis for anxiety audio. Hypnosis helps you rewire reprogram, recondition your mind by giving your subconscious better instructions. In fact, hypnosis fills up your mind with positive thoughts, positive images, until there's no room for anything else. And it absolutely works. Check out my next video here. Your thoughts control your feelings. Your feelings control your actions and your actions control your events. Or you could say your thoughts dictate your feelings. Mm. You take away the source of the pain and the pain. It's like